Why can you live in Hiroshima, but not in Chernobyl? On August 6, 1945, the world's most famous nuclear bomb was detonated at 8.15 in Hiroshima, a Japanese embarkation port and industrial center that was the site of a major military headquarters. The intense brightness of the flash and ensuing mushroom cloud could be seen from miles away, with house windows even up to 50 miles away shattering from the impact. Many consider this event to be a pivotal moment in human history, as it marked the first time nuclear warfare and its devastating power was unleashed. The detonation of the atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki was planned. What was not planned instead was the worst nuclear accident in history. Everything happened on April 25th and 26th, 1986 in what is now northern Ukraine. The reactor at a nuclear power plant exploded and burned. Shrouded in secrecy, the incident was a watershed moment in both the Cold War and the history of nuclear power. The disaster took place near the city of Chernobyl in the former USSR, which invested heavily in nuclear power after World War II. Both events were the result of nuclear fission, a reaction in which the nucleus of an atom splits into two or smaller nuclei, producing a very large amount of energy. According to the famous Einstein's mass energy equivalence formula, E equals mc squared. However, while it was possible to repopulate the Japanese city, this couldn't be done for Chernobyl. Why is that? Why can you live in Hiroshima, but not in Chernobyl? Keep watching the video to get to know the answer to this question and more. Brief History of the Atomic Bomb In 1942, 6,000 scientists and engineers from leading universities and industrial research labs were at work on the development of the world's first ever nuclear weapon. Among them were J. Robert Oppenheimer, Maria Mayer, Enrico Fermi, Niles Bohr, and Richard Feynman. For security reasons, the facility was located in the desert near Los Alamos, New Mexico. In 1944, a team of 6,000 scientists and engineers from leading universities and industrial research labs managed to develop the world's first nuclear weapon. These people belonged to the now famous Manhattan Project. The whole project at its peak employed an estimated 130,000 Americans at 37 locations across the U.S. By the summer of 1945, amounts of plutonium-239 sufficient to produce a nuclear explosion had become available and weapon development and design were sufficiently far advanced so that an actual field test of a nuclear explosive could be scheduled. The rest is history. Brief History of the Chernobyl Disaster On April 25, 1986, routine maintenance was scheduled at VI Lenin Nuclear Power Station's fourth reactor in Chernobyl, and workers planned to use the downtime to test whether the reactor could still be cooled if the plant lost power. During the test, however, workers violated safety protocols and power surged inside the plant. Despite attempts to shut down the reactor entirely, another power surge caused a chain reaction of explosions inside. Finally, the nuclear core itself was exposed, spewing radioactive material into the atmosphere. Now, at that time, the unit measure for radioactivity was the Rentgen Equivalent Man, abbreviated REM. The ionizing radiation levels in the worst hit areas of the reactor building have been estimated to be 5.3 rem, equivalent to about 19,000 rem per hour. As a term of comparison, the dose of radiation expected to cause death to 50% of an exposed population within 30 days ranges from 400 to 450 rem. Hiroshima and Chernobyl Comparison Although Hiroshima and Chernobyl are often referred to as the two main nuclear destruction events ever happened, they were not the same. Hiroshima lost over 75,000 people due to initial bomb devastation, ensuing radioactivity-related deaths and displacement. However, Hiroshima today has roughly tripled in population since the days of those horrors. The predominant architectural style in the city shows how strong growth was in the 1960s through the 1980s. Regarding Chernobyl, almost 40 years after the disaster, scientists estimate the zone around the former plant will not be habitable for up to 20,000 years. Compared with other nuclear events, 
the Chernobyl explosion put 400 times more radioactive material into the Earth's atmosphere than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The radioactivity released at Chernobyl tended to be more long-lived than that released by a bomb detonation. Therefore, it is not possible to draw a simple comparison between the two events. Also, a dose of radiation spread over many years, as in the case with Chernobyl, is much less harmful than the same dose received over a short period. If we want to talk real facts, the only thing Chernobyl and Hiroshima have in common is to have caused massive fatalities, which by the way are also affected by different statistics. For example, the immediate explosion killed two operating personnel, and 134 firemen and personnel were hospitalized as a result of severe radiation syndrome caused by the high levels of radiation released. In the following years, Chernobyl caused more than 28 deaths and over 2 million people were exposed to radiation. Yet the full consequences of the accident, including impacts on mental health and even subsequent generations, remain highly debated and under study. What remains of the reactor is now inside a massive steel containment structure, deployed in late 2016. Containment efforts and monitoring continue and cleanup is expected to last until at least 2065. Hiroshima killed about 129,000 people and is estimated that 350,000 people were exposed to the radiation. In any case, in the years following the devastation, people repopulated the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, but there's no way you could live happily ever after in Chernobyl. Why is that? Hey, if you enjoyed this video, consider liking it and maybe subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to us. Thanks. Type of Detonation Well, the most obvious difference between the two explosions is their magnitude and the type of detonation. The atomic bomb in Hiroshima was detonated hundreds of meters above ground to maximize its yield, while the Chernobyl explosion occurred at ground level. This resulted in vastly different radiation distributions, with Hiroshima's radiation spread throughout an enormous area due to vaporization, and Chernobyl's radiation contained to a smaller area due to its weaker force. Additionally, the wind was not a factor in the Chernobyl explosion, whereas Hiroshima suffered wind-based effects. Although their effects were incredibly different, the magnitude of both events is equal. The sheer destructive power of both explosions is unmatched, resulting in innocent lives being taken and profound environmental damage. Reaction Mechanism The fissioning of uranium-235 is used as the energy source in both a nuclear bomb and a nuclear reactor. In an atomic bomb, we want to release as much energy as fast as possible. This is done by means of a chain reaction. Uranium-235 absorbs a neutron undergoes fission, releases a lot of energy, and releases three new not-so-cute neutrons. These neutrons will then repeat the cycle. This chain reaction takes on really quickly. One neutron can duplicate itself to 81 in just four cycles. While the reactor utilizes the same fission processes, the use of control rods allows for only one new uranium-235 to absorb a neutron to maintain a self-sustaining chain reaction. This means that a nuclear reactor requires much more enriched uranium than an atomic bomb. For instance, the atomic bomb in Hiroshima only used 46 kilograms of uranium, while Chernobyl used 180 tons of reactor fuel. Additionally, atomic bombs don't contain waste products that accumulate with the passing of weeks as a nuclear reactor does. This allows for a much higher dose of radiation to escape from a nuclear reactor such as Chernobyl, which is significantly worse than an atomic bomb. While the dose of radiation from the atomic bomb would still be lethal, all these reasons above combined are why Chernobyl is much worse in terms of radiation. Something to be mentioned is that Chernobyl was a power plant nuclear accident, while the Hiroshima event was a planned atomic bombing. In a certain sense, although probably not justified, the Hiroshima bomb was controlled. Talking about the damaged area, for instance, the Chernobyl accident affected Europe and the former Soviet Union. On the other hand, the Hiroshima attack affected a two-kilometer radius within the attack location. Let's try to sum up the key points. The devastation in Hiroshima and Nagasaki from the atomic bombs was much different than that of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. 
This is due to the type of detonation and the reaction mechanisms involved. The atomic bomb detonates hundreds of meters above ground, which vaporizes the bomb and distributes radiation in a wide range. Whereas Chernobyl's explosion was much weaker, occurring at ground level, with chunks of radioactive materials left in a small area. The nuclear chain reaction mechanism of an atomic bomb is designed to be as quick as possible, while a nuclear reactor needs to maintain a steady, self-sustaining reaction. Also, there is much more uranium present in a reactor core and a buildup of nuclear waste over time, which the atomic bomb does not produce. Overall, the, all these factors mean that the radiation dose from Chernobyl was orders of magnitude higher than that of the atomic bombs that destroyed Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Because of this, it is not possible for people to repopulate Chernobyl. The devastating effects of nuclear weapons demonstrated in Hiroshima, Nagasaki, and Chernobyl are reminders of why it is of the utmost importance to prevent the use of such weapons. Despite the differences between the two events, they are forever linked by their utter destruction and devastating consequences, with Chernobyl still having the potential to cause harm to inhabitants even after decades. The success of preventing nuclear warfare depends on our collective efforts to ensure that disasters such as Hiroshima and Chernobyl never happen again. Stay safe. That's all for this video. Have you ever visited Hiroshima? Would you plan a trip there? Let us know in the comments below. See you next time on the channel.